All right, picking up where we left off, we've got uh, our model rigged with some basic cloth and bones. Feel free to play with settings. You're not going to hurt anything. Um, and just have some fun with it. Now we've got some pretty dynamic uh, motion coming here, so I'm going to pick a pretty decent pose that I like. I like uh, this one right here, lots of fun motion. And we're going to start messing with um, surface editing. So if you've got 8.5, uh, go to your display preferences. 8.5 rocks, so if you don't have it, get it. And uh, turn on GLSLHW shading. I wish I knew what that meant. I don't, but it makes for a lot of really cool OpenGL effects, which means you can see a lot of your surface editing uh, displayed on your model as you work. So let's choose default. You can choose any color you want for your ghost, um, girl ghost, boy ghost, generic, spooky, green ghost. That's what I'm going with. Okay. I'm going to go to luminosity, and I'm going to hit this up a bit. I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, 15%. Eh, 25%. Live on the wild side. Knock the diffusion down to 75%. And then this is where things get interesting. Go to transparency, and as tra for transparency, choose a gradient. Incidence angle. Add a... Um, key at 90 and set the value to 0. So when the incidence to the camera is 90 degrees, the value of transparency will be 0 and it will gradiate until the incidence to the camera is 0. And now you can see in your display here exactly what just happened. It's kind of slick. I like that a lot. I'm going to go to transparency and I'm going to invert those keys though. I like it better the other way. Yeah, that's kind of slick too. Quick render to uh, show what that looks like. already starting to look pretty neat. Let's go to the Advanced tab and go to Additive Transparency. We're going to call that, um, oh, I don't know, we'll start at 50%. Render that up again. Looking pretty decent. Just keep messing with settings until you get something you like. I don't like how uh, dull this is. I want it to be more luminescent. So I'm going to bring this to 50-50. I like to keep my luminosity and diffusion balanced where they add up to 100%. I couldn't even tell you why. It's just something I picked up somewhere. And then I'm going to go to my camera properties panel and I'm going to add a bunch of motion blur um, so that you guys don't have to be bored watching this render. I'm going to uh, keep it relatively low, but you should set it to something really high as much as you can afford to. And then set your blur length to 100 or even higher. I mean, when it renders, you'll get some spooky uh, blurry ghost effects. Looking good, but missing something. Close that. I'm going to go back to the surface editor. I want more additive transparency. I'm going to make that all the way up to 80. I'm going to go to shaders. Um, I have a completely lost track of which shaders ship with Lightwave and which I've gotten off the web. I'm going to use Velvet, and if you don't have Velvet, then get it off of Flay.com. Um, find it on Flay.com. It's a great little shader. And then I'm going to go, uh, don't know why I closed that, back to the surface editor, go to glow intensity, and set this to 50, eh, 75%. Except that's the bone surface, which shouldn't even be there. There we go. Now that's not going to do anything because you haven't enabled glow in the uh, appropriate panel. So bring up your effects panel, control F8, and add an image filter. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. Enable glow. There we go. Set the intensity to 65, 16. Again, these are numbers I'm just pulling out of my head, and you can change them to your taste. Now we're getting there. Okay, um, I still don't like what I'm getting. It's looking good, but it's not looking as good as it could. Added transparency 100%, glow intensity 100%. Bring up the effects panel again. And 
And now I'm going to add bloom. I'm going to render this up, but I'm going to spare you that with a quick edit. And there she blows. Um, a ghost. I cranked up the motion blur anti-alias settings. You might want to mess with diffusion and specularity or any of those things. Um, and render it up and see what it looks like. I think you're going to be happy with what you get. The fourth part of this tutorial isn't a tutorial at all. It's just my results after spending a little more time playing with it, uh, my completed video. So if you want to see what I came up with after a little more play, uh, take a look. And I hope you enjoy it. Have a spooky Halloween.